Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Simonetta Vespucci. Simonetta Vespucci was an Italian noblewoman who lived from 1453 to 1476. She was exceptionally beautiful and she is renowned for being the greatest beauty of her time and even the greatest beauty of the Renaissance in general. So she got married very young and her husband took her to Florence where she met the, the Medici family who were the most influential people of the time which made her kind of appear in society more and made lots of people see her and fall in love with her beauty. Now one very prominent person whose heart she captured with her beauty was Giuliano de' Medici who absolutely loved her and admired her beauty greatly. It is said that one time at a jousting tournament he came up with carrying a banner with Simonetta's portrait painted by Botticelli himself to kind of honor her and he actually won the jousting tournament and Simonetta was crowned the queen of beauty at that tournament. Now it is also said that when Botticelli was commissioned to do this portrait of her he also may have fallen in love with her or at least have chosen her as his muse. This is a very disputed um, topic but many of Botticelli's paintings feature a woman that looks very much alike um, in many of his paintings and it is said that this is Simonetta Vespucci's likeness. Now we are talking the birth of Venus here, um, La Primavera, all of his portraits of a woman are all kind of ladies that look very similar. They have this similar kind of facial structure, long nose, high forehead and the same long blonde, strawberry blonde flowing hair. So Simonetta died very young at age 22, probably of tuberculosis, but by that time she was already well established as a beauty beacon and went down in history as one. So today I'm going to try and recreate her look, or at least I'm going to assume that she is the lady in several paintings that we have that are uh, thought to be of her by Botticelli but other painters as well, and try and recreate that look because regardless of whether it was her or not uh, some people say that all these paintings are made of kind of a generic beauty ideal woman of the renaissance but she must have looked very much like that if she was so glorified for being so beautiful so it's very well possible that it was in fact her so anyways let's get started with the makeup it is renaissance we're talking about so i'm going to keep it very light i'm going to start with just a little bit of foundation and concealer to start with an even base and then powder everything off to mattify my face. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes with an eyelash curler and apply a thin layer of mascara, just very subtle. And then I'm going to take this bright pink blush and apply it all over my cheeks, kind of the way it looks in paintings. So the makeup was very simple, but now we're moving on to the hair. I went for this hairstyle right here, which is inspired by one of the paintings that I found that are supposedly of Simonetta Vespucci. This is true renaissance guys, so let's get started. I started by applying two full sets of extensions into my hair because there is no way my own hair can match anything from a renaissance painting. So I am going to apply as much false hair into my own hair as I possibly can. So I managed to fit in two full sets. And now I'm constantly looking at this painting for reference. So I'm going to start by taking a little section of hair from right off center of my head. And I'm going to braid this. Just a normal English braid. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going back to the first side that I made the braid on, take a section of hair just below that and braid that as well. And make sure to leave quite a big chunk. Don't, don't go further than your temple with this because we're going to need the rest of the hair down there to braid more. Again, do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm going to take that chunk of hair that is kind of behind my ear, um, almost going towards my neck, and I'm going to rope braid this. And I'm going to rope braid away from my face, so that means I'm going to twist the sections, the two individual sections, towards my face, and then I'm going to twist them around each other away from my face. And then tie the braid off with a little hair elastic when I'm done. And then do the same thing on the other side, again twist towards my face and then around each other away from my face to make this symmetrical on both sides. So then I'm going to divide the back of my hair that is left now into two sections. A smaller section on the bottom and then a large, big kind of the rest of my hair section on the top. So I'm going to clip away that top section and the bottom section I'm going to divide into two pieces and I'm going to braid both of these. 
And when that is done, I am also going to divide the top section into two and braid both of these as well. And when these are braided, I'm going to fluff them out right away, which means I'm going to tug at the sides of them a little bit to make them appear larger. Doing everything for volume here, guys. Okay, so there is all the basic braiding done, and now it's time to assemble the hairstyle. So I'm going to begin by clipping up the two largest braids that I have in the back. And then I'm going to take my rope braids from the front, swoop them towards the back, and tie them together with the hair elastic. Then I'm going to let down my big braids again, and take the four small braids from the front of my face, pull them over my head backwards, and tie them together there with the hair elastic as well, in between my two big braids. And now I'm going to untie all of the little individual braids and kind of unbraid those so that I can have one big tail from all of these braids. Okay, so now I just took two little bobby pins to pin the middle two front braids to the center of my head so that they don't slide down, which they tend to do. Uh, they tend to slide down over my hair. So just pin them in place and you will be able to see the pin because the next thing I'm going to do is take my two large braids, cross them over and bring them over my head to kind of form this crown. And I don't really want this to look like two braids, so at the point where the two braids cross in the front, I'm going to tuck the smaller braid underneath the larger one. So I'm pretty much tucking the end of one braid underneath the base of the other one, so that it kind of looks like just one thick braid all over. And I'm going to pin them down just like that. Okay, so when that is done, I am going to work again on that little tail that I have left from all the small braids. I'm going to take a little topsy tail thingy and use this to thread all of that hair through those braids that I just made and create this little loop. And everything that I have left I'm just going to tuck underneath the loop and pin down there so that it kind of disappears. And then the very last thing I'm going to do for the assembly is to take my two accent braids from the bottom of my head, the last two ones that are still free, and I'm going to again topsy tail these, but in the other direction I'm going to topsy tail them around that little rope braid that I have. And make sure to leave them kind of to swoop around the sides. And again, whatever is left of the braid I'm just going to tuck underneath that little roll of hair that I have and pin it away there. So then of course, since this is the renaissance, we need some pearls, so I take this string of pearls and I'm just going to wrap this around that braid that I have going around my head as a crown. So I'm pretty much just threading it underneath that braid and going over and underneath. And then pinning the ends down with some bobby pins. And when that is done on both sides, the Simonetta Vespucci hair is done and you have gained some arm muscles. Congratulations! So that is all for today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more Beauty Beacons videos. If you have any suggestions for historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, leave them down in the comments below and I will have a look and pick someone up for next week. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video.